Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you! This is the part where you're supposed to say, aye aye, Captain? Nope. Nobody? Nobody? Alright, I'll just do my own intro. Hey everyone, it's Deacon082 and I'm back after a long time. And we're going to take on the Vermilion City Gym Trainers here for the first gym in Kanto. Now, in red, blue, and yellow, there's supposed to be Switch Puzzles. But in Crystal version and Gold and Silver, the Switch Puzzles are out of order. First thing you'll notice, the Kanto battle theme is a little different than the Johto battle theme. Just listen, slight differences. Yeah, sounds a little different. Trying to remix the old Kanto theme. We're just gonna use Brad, but we don't have any ground moves. I could teach it Earthquake, but I'm not going to do I'm not going to because it learns it later. And double team is just annoying. Alright, so what have I been doing in the long time I've been off? Absolutely nothing. I've just been slacking on videos. But are you serious? Brad, you are terrible. Wow. We're gonna lose to a Pikachu? There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing, for those of you who didn't see the first episode, or don't remember because it's been about three and a half weeks, I'm going to be taking on all the gym leaders in order without healing in between them. So that means I'm just going to have to save the gym leaders for a while. So this series is going to be kind of boring, but it'll get fun when we get going. So we just take it down. I love the Kanto gym music. We won't get to hear the awesome Kanto gym leader music for a while. But anyway, we'll take on more trainers. Lieutenant Surge recognized my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Yes, we can. We have Brad. Okay, I need to stop saying that. I know it's his name. Aw, oh, dude, it's a guitarist named Vincent. And he's got a Magnemite. I mean, seriously, level 27? I'm gonna try to attack you. It's not gonna do much, but... We don't have anything that can really take out Steel types anymore. We got Surf, I think? Yeah, we still have Surf. I might just use that, because nothing in this gym's gonna resist Surf. Voltorb, we can take it out. Yeah, this is what most of this series is gonna be. But, after we take out these gym trainers, we're going to catch some Pokemon, and we're going to progress through Kanto, because we know Kanto's really laid back. So I really need to find some stuff to talk about so I'm not just rambling about talking about stuff I'm going to talk about while I'm talking about talking about Yo dog, we heard you like talking about Just shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, shut up now. Good, good. Alright, anyway, where were we? I, I am a bit rusty. Yeah, I haven't done any commentary in a while. I haven't done any anything in a while. I made that shiny Corsola video for you guys and also over that weekend, I caught two shiny Sneasels, a shiny Sentret, and three Natus. I would like to do a giveaway on some of those, but I don't have Wi-Fi. So, unfortunately, I can't do any sort of giveaways of shiny Pokemon. But, I know you guys would kind of like it if I could, but unfortunately, I have a router at my apartment, but... It has the wrong kind of encryption, so I can't get on it, and I just have a DS Lite, so you know how that is. And then, I used to be able to have Wi-Fi at my house. I'm not there very often, but we got rid of the wireless because I'm never home, and it costs too much money, so yeah, that's the, that's the pits right there. Anyway, yeah, Brad's just running through this gym. Don't worry, I'll show the rest of my team. I still haven't shown Sunflowmon since we started this series. He's just kind of sitting there. He'll be sitting there for a while. Hopefully we can catch something new that'll be useful. We'll find out. I wish I could take out these things in one hit. But we gotta just sit through this. Unless you want me to cut this battle out. If you would like me to cut the battle out, please. Press 1. 
If you wish to see the rest of the battle, please stay on the line. Actually, if you press 1 on the keyboard, it'll take you back in the video, so that wouldn't be very useful if you wanted to skip this battle, because then you'd just have to watch it again. Maybe if you press, like, 4, it'll skip you past this part? I'm not advising it. Oh well. Brad is gonna get a level up in this battle. This guy's just got a ton of electrodes. Luckily, we don't have to worry about him because they're such low level. And we have Brad and his amazing defense. I mean, that face just staring creepily at us, but oh well. And Brad single-handedly takes down all the Vermilion Gym trainers. Yeah, we kind of expected that. Brad grows to level 48. I forget when he learns Earthquake, but I'm going to be winging most of this episode. So we're going to head to a Pokemon Center really quick to heal, which shouldn't take long, but unfortunately we have to surf around here, so I'm going to go heal really quick. Okay, now that I've healed, we have two ways to leave this town. The first way is to the east, but we can't quite do that yet because there is a Snorlax blocking the way, so we're going to have to go north. On to Route 6, where we have two buff guys just standing here. We'll get to them later. But first, our first wild encounter of Kanto! And it is a Snubble! Now, there's one problem I can sense, and that is the levels in Kanto are extremely low. So it's going to be tough for me to weaken these things, so I'm just going to hope to capture it. So, I got some Pokeballs, I believe. Um, I should probably buy some more. We'll try an Ultra Ball on a Snubble. I can probably buy Ultra Balls at all these Pokemon Centers, and I've probably got so much money it's just overflowing out of my pockets. There we go, we catch a Snubble! And... The nickname for this, because I don't believe in myself very well, this Snubble is going to be named after a Snubble I had in one of my other runs. C. Hines. Just because. So C. Hines is now in our party, and we'll check its stats. It's paralyzed. I will level its guy up off screen, but I'm going to be using rare candies just to save a bunch of time, because leveling up from 13 to in the 40s against wild Pokemon is just not something I want to do. So this trainer says this Fanfy is the cutest Pokemon in the world, yet he's wearing a Pikachu shirt. Anyway, OH MY GOD I FOUND A Fanfy! My bad. Okay. We're going to use Petal Dance with Sunflowmon, who just looks like a crazy I don't know, it kind of looks like a Chain Chomp from the back if you get rid of the flowers, the petals on it. But I was thinking some sort of alien creature. I don't know. I mean, some, some flora just looks bad from the front and back in this game. And the next trainer says his Teddy Ursa's the cutest in the world. Why does it always have to be two buff dudes standing next to each other comparing their cute Pokemon? Oh well. He's got a Teddy Ursa, it's so cute. Those are the two early game Pokemon that can run away from you, who I I didn't manage to get either of them. Petal Dance is a pretty good move in this game. It lasts for two to three turns and only uses one PP. So that's helpful. But you get confused at the end of it. But you should be able to take anything out in the two or three turns of it. So anyway, we'll sneak through to the top of this route. And if you were playing red, blue, and yellow, you would take the underground path here, but this road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. So we're going to have to do something we're not normally able to do, and we're going to sneak through the gate into Saffron City. And the magnet train isn't running either. There's something wrong with the power plant. So we're here in Saffron City. There are some gym trainers. But let's explore the town a little bit. What's here? The first house, bottom right corner. It's been here forever. This guy that looks like a fisherman is actually Mr. Psychic. I got it. You wanted this. 
And we get TM-29 for Psychic. I don't think anyone we have can learn it. Well, Rhydon probably can, but I'm not gonna teach it. What else we got in Saffron City? Pokemon Center... Um... This is the old Silphco building. And in here you can talk to the receptionist to get... Well, you can talk to somebody in here. I think it's this guy. Ah, uh, yes. We can get the item Upgrade, which is completely useless to us, so I'm gonna toss it. It evolves Porygon into Porygon 2. So... We don't have Porygon either, so... It's kind of useless for now. Um, also in Saffron City... We can go... There's the gym. Two gyms, actually. Up here is the Magnet Train. Same one as in Goldenrod City, but it's not working yet either. So the one other thing, one other building we can go in here, is the Clefairy Lady. The Mimic Girl's House. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. I knew I was. Hmm, quit mimicking? But that's my favorite hobby. Oh well. Um, yeah, can't really do anything in here right now, but it will be useful later. So we need to check out the power plant. Um, I'll take on these gym trainers later because we're going to head to the power plant. Oh, I can't do this. I need the town map. Um, no, it's in the Poke Gear. Yeah, what am I doing? The power plant is over here by Lavender Town, so we're going to head to the east. Let me just check on time really quick. Okay, we're not so good on time. I'm not going to take on the gym yet because we'll be back in Saffron City. So we're going to head east. And I'm going to see how many trainers are on this route. Ooh, a lot of them. Nice. But we're going to see how many we can avoid. Um, you have to have cut again this grass patch. I kind of want to catch another Pokemon. So we're going to uh, teach cut. If I can scroll down the list. Can you not scroll any faster? Come on. Here we go, cut. Who can learn cut? Some Flowmon can learn cut. Perfect. We're going to catch another Pokemon this episode. Um, I don't see myself ever using growth. Okay, so after all that... Um, I'm gonna come back to this... Wait, hold on, I'm trying to remember. Uh... Yeah, why not? Here's our encounter for Route 8. Snubble. Okay, we already got one of these. It's, it's either this route or another one that you can catch a certain Pokemon at night time that I want to get. But, oh well. Um, is he avoidable? He is. He is avoidable if we time it right. Very nice. And, up here, we even get a Paralyzed Cure Berry. Okay, so we got nothing new. But we made it to Lavender Town unscathed. And here's the Lavender Town theme. Knew you guys were waiting for it. It actually seems happy in this game, which is odd. So what do we have here in Lavender Town? Our main attraction is another radio tower. So we can look around anywhere on here, but there's really nothing. We can only tour the ground floor, so... There's nothing here for us at the moment, but there will be later. Um, down here is the new Pokemon Tower. All the gravestones have been moved into just a random building over here. Um, one of these houses was the Name Raider. Is it still the Name Raider? Yes, it is. There's a second Name Raider over here. So. That's all for Lavender Town, and like I said, we're running a little long on the next step on this episode. Up to the north is Route 10, which is where the power plant is, and we'll be headed there in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Version Kanto Nuzlocke. And my next episode will come soon. I'm not going to take any more random three and a half week breaks. Hopefully that'll be good with you guys. It's good with me. 
Alright, see you guys next time.